All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the Beretta M9A1-22. Essentially what this is, is a 22 long rifle chambered M9. These are manufactured by Umarex in Germany. So in the box, you're only gonna get one magazine. Uh, to me, that was kind of disappointing um, just because kind of the purpose of a 22 long rifle of a handgun that is typically like this one chambered in nine mil is to be able to, you know, train with it and uh, not worry about ammo cost. And so it would be nice to see, you know, two, three, even four magazines in here. Uh, but yeah, they only include one magazine. And this is a 15 round magazine and it does have the load assist rail on the side. And it also has a Beretta logo on the base plate. You get your standard blue Beretta lock. An additional front iron sight. It is just a white dot iron sight. Your Beretta manual. Your warning explanation. So upon uh, registering the gun with Beretta uh, through their warranty, you get an additional two years of uh, warranty uh, by doing so. And you also get a firearms warning card. I don't think there's anything else in the bottom here. So let's move on to the handgun itself. So first removing this from the box, uh, definitely feels like a M9 in both weight and, and just feel in the grip. It's got that really thick grip and hump in the rear. Very nice in the hand. And I really like what they did here with the barrel. They, uh, this is definitely not, it doesn't look like a 22 long rifle barrel. Uh, but as you can see there, there's a sleeve on the outside. All right, so the barrel here is a 4.9 inch barrel. And then through the top hole there, you have a round chamber indicator. It's just a visual indicator. slide. Uh, I could not find what it was constructed of, uh, but it seems to me to be steel or some other type of metal. It's not aluminum, uh, but it's interesting. There's a lot of weight on the top of this rather than the bottom. Uh, very nice that they did that. So it's got your rear slide serrations. Nothing in the front. And your sides are gonna be dovetailed into the slide. And they are also tightened via a set screw in the center there for that rear one. So you can see in the rear, you've got a two dot white dot sight picture. And then in the front, also dovetailed is a white dot, single white dot. And so I guess you can consider these adjustable iron sights. They are plastic though. So the frame is constructed of plastic, uh, but it, it feels as though they are using some type of weight in here uh, because it doesn't particularly feel like all polymer. They're definitely, I think there's a weight in the grip. So up front here, you're gonna have a one section Picatinny rail. In the rear, a very pronounced beaver tail, like you see on the M9. And then these uh, grip panels are swappable. So it's got your standard Allen key grip screws that the M9 
has over a uh, flat tip screwdriver uh, style grip screws. Controls very similar to your M9. You're gonna have your manual safety, slide mounted safety, and that is Ambi. And it also acts as a decocker, like so. You also have your slide stop, slide release. And that is just on one side. Takedown lever is right here. And your takedown procedure is very similar to your M9. So you push on this button over here, pull this down. Uh, everything's kind of really tight though right now. And so removing this slide may prove to be a little bit difficult at first. Uh, one, The first thing I did notice was just the amount of force that I have to press on the safety to get it to go into safe. Now working the, the decocker is not that hard, uh, but it's it's going from fire to safe. There is a very, um, it's very weird. There's a lot of weight you have to push into that. The magazine release is reversible, so you can swap that over to the other side. And this is a double action, single action uh, firearm. So on your first trigger pull, if the hammer is forward, it is gonna be uh, slightly heavier of a trigger pull and longer. But when the slide reciprocates and loads the next round, it's gonna be a slightly shorter distance of travel and a much lighter trigger pull. Very smooth. All right, if you guys got any questions on the M9A122, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you for watching.